Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I buy storage units. With everything that's been going on, it's been a while since I bought a unit. But the last unit I bought was a 10 by 15. Uh, there was a lot of stuff in it, a lot of boxes. Um, I've already done one video about this storage unit. You can check it out. I'll put a link to it down in the description below. Uh, but this video, I'm going to be going through boxes from that unit. Like I said, there was a lot of boxes in there. And so that's what this video will be about. Because it's been so long, I will show you a clip of the unit when we went and picked it up. Here's a 10 by 15 unit I just bought. I paid uh, $450 for this unit. Uh, I'll tell you why I liked this unit here. Uh, yeah, there's some higher end stuff in here. That's an expensive vacuum cleaner there. Uh, this box, a Vitamix box. I don't expect the Vitamix to be in there, but just that somebody bought a Vitamix means they had a little bit more money. Uh, over here, you could see this toolbox. We got what looks like a wood stove here, maybe. And then you could not see this in the pictures when I was bidding online. But up here, you can see there is a uh, guitar case, tons of boxes, maybe some furniture in here as well. So uh, this looks like a pretty good unit. We'll see what we find as we go through here. I just climbed up there and pulled all the boxes down that were stacked up and it's like we filled up the locker again. There's a ton of stuff in this unit. It'll be interesting to see what kind of stuff we find when we go through these boxes. Got a box here that's marked uh, Bose, 321 cameras, PS4 headphones, so hopefully we got some pretty good stuff in here. What do we got? interesting a wireless display receiver is it in there it is I'll have to look that up see if that might be maybe an eBay item I don't know I got a Netgear wireless router in there and it feels like that's what it is so I'll set that aside got a Zippo limited edition lighter that is in there in the tin got some LED lights nice got a whole bunch of stuff in here this is a Zippo hand warmer I believe Oops. Set that aside. Some little adapters. Here's a little flashlight. Pretty cool little flashlight. Who's that made by Streamlight? Pretty decent little find there. What else do we have? Some chargers in there, remote. Maybe a gun lock. Let's see what else. Oh, those are those headphones for the PS4. Oh, big heavy box here. Miscellaneous wires, charger surveillance camera. Let's open that up and see. So, I guess that's the miscellaneous wires. Odds and ends in there. And maybe a camera in here. Let's see if that's what's in here. I don't know. An HDMI switch. Hmm. So just different electronic items in there. More electronic stuff here. I'm looking for that Bose. There it is. That's a decent little find. Take the bubble wrap off it here. There we go. That'll go on eBay for sure. All right. Finish sorting through there, and then we'll keep going. Got another box here. This is for a 
heater, but it's I think it's too heavy to be a heater, so we'll see what's in here. Well, look at this. It's a gun box. It's empty, I can feel it's too light, but Walter P99. 9mm. It's interesting. Let's see what else we got. Here is a holster. A reactor. For a car. 940. Polymer frame. Hmm. Huh. Looks like you got some ammunition here. What do we got? 45 auto, and it's a mixture. There's all kinds of odds and ends in there. I'll go through that a little bit later on. Here we've got some crit critical defense. That's some expensive ammunition here. 18, well, $19 price tag on there. We got some, what is this? 38 special. It's a partial box of 38 special, I believe. Yep. Not bad. Oh, this box is really heavy. Will there be a gun in there? No. More ammunition though. There's a Ruger 380 Auto self defense with a $20 price tag on it. Here's some more. This is 45 ACP. This is mostly empty though. $23 price tag on there. Here's our blanks for. A Walter. Hmm, it's interesting. We got Magtech 9mm. Got some 380 Auto. 45 Auto. And some more critical defense. What caliber? 380? Yeah, 380. Critical defense. Pretty good little box. Another box here, this one is marked Fishing Tackle and String. I need some weights for fishing, so hopefully. Got some weights here, so I don't have to go buy them. It's always nice when you can uh, find things instead of having to go buy them. Of course, I did pay. $450 for this locker, so there's that. This looks pretty good. What do we got? Lots of fishing string in here, several of these little tackle boxes. Oh, look at that. There's a whole bunch of weights. It's exactly what I needed. What else do we have here? Anything exciting? A lot of these tackle boxes are empty. Hmm. I've never seen these before. Hook easy. Don't know what that is. I'll have to look that up. It's kind of interesting. Bunch of bobbers here, some lures. A bunch of very small hooks and weights. A multifunction fishing tool for tying hooks, jigs, and other rigs. Hmm. All right. Here's a big box. We'll see what's inside here. Looks like kids stuff, maybe. It's a decent little item. Baby carrier. Oh, there's a piggy bank. It's full.
full of money. Might actually be a decent amount of change in there. A lot of pennies, some dimes, some nickels. All right. Little playhouse. Here we've got looks like a jewelry box. Some costume stuff up there. Cheap rings down here. Pretty sure all this stuff is just costume, but I will go through it real carefully and make sure I didn't miss anything. Set that aside for now. Right, looks like the rest of this stuff is uh, buckets and. Big old box here. A bag on the very top. Ugh. Filthy. Uh, I think they're chair pads. But those are garbage. Hmm. What do we have down in here? Some books. Let's see. Batman. That's kind of interesting. That might actually have some more than average value. I'll look it up. Looks like we might have some tools down in here. There's an Xbox game that's in there. Porter cable. That works. The battery's dead, but it works. Oh man, look at this. Got some lottery tickets. Are we winners? I find a surprising amount of lottery tickets that are winners that people did not turn in for whatever reason. Those are both losing tickets though. Anything here? Nope. Paperwork for a car. Here is a little oil filter. Got a reel. Just a cheap one and it's not working. Magazines. Hmm. Another comic book I'll look up. Sort of switch here. Look at this. Here's another book. Understanding Japanese animation. Kind of weird odds and ends in this box. It's a belt buckle. That is a what is this? Oh, it's a it's an Indian head. Kind of cool. Bunch of keys that may or may not be actually old keys. Sometimes these can have a lot of value, though. Um, definitely look them up. Old railroad keys especially are very collectible. I don't see anything here that looks like an old railroad key, but something to keep your eyes open for. And nothing else here is grabbing me. I'll set this aside to go through carefully. Let's see if there's anything else in here that looks real interesting. A radiator cap. Big old, uh, oh look, that's a snap-on. Well, that's gonna have some value. Definitely an eBay item. Got a car radio of some sort. Anything else in there? Not really, just odds and ends. I'll finish going through there, we'll move on. Got a box here marked living room shelf. Very fragile. We will see what is in there. Nice. Good. Gracious. Hmm. 
is this an air purifier or a heater? Yeah, I think it's a little air purifier right there in the very top. We've got uh, some more stuff in here. I need my knife again. Cool, toucan, wood carving. Sort of wooden plaque here. Some sort of decor, I'm guessing. I am thankful for, and then you've got a chalkboard there you can write on. Some other sort of carving in here, maybe. I'll open this up and see. Look at that. What a piece of art. It's somebody's homemade dealy bob. Here we've got some two way radios and charger. Oops, let's where do these go in here? Probably like that. Not bad. Not very valuable, but not bad. See my glove ripped. I have to go get a new pair of gloves. Nope, here is a box that's got some other stuff in it because it's rattling around. Hopefully, we got some good stuff. Keep on waiting to find some gold. Haven't found any gold yet. Well, very little gold. What do we have? There's a watch of some sort. Just cheap junk. Uh, the bracelet might be silver. No, I don't think it is. A couple of pennies. That's it. Nothing really too valuable. Got a cross that somebody made. Bunch of butterflies. It's kind of interesting. It's pretty cool, actually. George W. Keeler. Maybe a, a local artist or something. Alright, look at all this stuff. All this stuff's wrapped up. It's going to take me a long time to unwrap it. I'm going to unwrap it, and then I'll show you everything all in one shot. Alright, I have everything unwrapped. We got some little figurines here. Nothing valuable. I don't know why they went to such trouble to wrap them up so carefully. Have this little cross here. It's kind of interesting. It's neat. I mean, you got the, the Last Supper. You got him praying in the garden. You got the the cross and you got the empty tomb it's a cool piece but again it's not like it's valuable it's just cheap so uh, went to a lot of trouble to wrap it up here you got this jar or this glass you know jug or whatever uh, but it's not like it's very old it's a screw top but they uh, they wrapped it up really well I have a couple of boxes on the bottom here they got stuff in them I have not looked in them yet so we will see what's in them together um, got that butterfly design there on the, the top Inside, dentistry pick, is that what that is? Oral pain reliever, hmm. Um, got a bracelet here, got a little key, got some rings, nothing that looks very valuable. Let's see if this key works in this box. It's always nice when you find the key. Yep, that is the key that latches the box, so that's kinda cool, whoops. All right. Uh, let's see what's in the bigger one. The bigger one, unfortunately, has some wax melted on it. Mm, nothing in this one, really. Here's a, here's a key, though. I imagine I'm going to have it work here. Yep, that locks that as well. So, I mean, that's not bad. A little find, clean the wax off there, and that'll sell pretty well for us. All right, we'll move on. Got another big box here. Radio, iPad, tablet. 
Samsung portable camcorder, Nintendo Switch. I don't know if it's Nintendo Switch cases or actually Nintendo Switch in there. So <clears throat> hopefully a good box here. We'll find out in a second. Oops. Sorry about that. See what we got. There's a digital TV antenna. Bunch of CDs here. Blu ray. Let's see if it's in there. It is. Nikon bag that's full of Nintendo Switch. I'm guessing game cases. Yeah, the game is not in there. That is too bad. I suppose it's possible though that we might find them tucked away somewhere in here, so definitely hold on to those cases. Got this Ryobi case. Let's see what's in there. Okay, one of those uh, disposable, or well, not disposable, but the cameras that uh, print the picture immediately, like a, like one of those old-fashioned Polaroids, but newer. What else do we have here? Got a bunch of Wii stuff. Set that aside. For the present. Have another air filter here. That might be a heater. What's this? Some sort of case. It's for a microphone. It's interesting. This is a tablet maybe? Yep iPad. Another another tablet in there. An Amazon tablet. Got a speaker here, bows. Finding a lot of bows stuff. Here's a, a Wii. Sort of light, LED light. There's a stand for a Wii. And over here, looks like we got some DVDs. Set that down for now. A whole bunch of Blu rays as well. Some of this might actually be pretty valuable. Some of that anime stuff can be pretty valuable. Alright, well, I will finish sorting through there and then we'll go on. All right, here's the box. It says surround sound system, computers, surveillance camera, cables, etc. So we'll open it up and see what we got. Maybe we'll find a nice camera in here. All right, looks like that's Christmas lights in there. Brake control. Look at this. We've got a whole bunch of MacBooks. One, two, three. These are only good for parts. You can see they're all busted up, but still some value there. What else we got here? There's a surveillance camera. Pac-Man game. Here's cords. Four surveillance cameras. Real long cords. Several of those. Is this your eBay box? Yeah. Anything else interesting in here? Got some sort of surround sound system. 
So you can see a name on there. Sony. Alright, it's not terrible, but not great. Anything else interesting in here? Doesn't really look like it. Alright, I'll finish sorting through there. And we'll keep going. Got a large box here marked Fragile Electronics. find something good. Spared no expense taping this thing up. First thing that we've got here is universal remote control that works through a smartphone. It's kind of interesting. Got some virtual reality glasses. We've got a battery for a Nikon camera. What else? Okay, we've got a couple of these big rechargeable uh, flashlights. These things are pretty good flashlights. Fairly expensive as well. They will sell well for us. tickets. Don't think there's any winners there, but uh, we'll look at those. Here's another one. Shoulder dolly. Okay, for lifting like furniture and appliances and stuff. You know, I've seen those before. I've tried using them before and I just haven't found them to be very helpful at all. Alright, let's pull this out. This is a uh, Bose sound dock. I don't know how much value that'll have. I think it's for a rather old uh, iPhone. Yeah, that's what it's set up for, so we'll look it up on eBay though. We've got a box here that's full of Nintendo DS games, um, Game Boy games. Oh, there could be a lot of value in there. That's just full of games. Pretty cool. We've got. in here. Oh, it's Pioneer. That might be expensive. More Pioneer stuff. Some electronics in there. Look at this. Here we've got a big Matco box that locks. And it is locked. And it's got stuff in it. We'll have to uh, hopefully find a key, and if we don't, of course, we'll have to drill that out. So we can open this box up. It's quite heavy. This is a box that says electronics. So we will open it up and see what kind of electronics we've got. Right out of the gate here. Let's see, it's in this. Some sort of CD in there. Whole bunch of, looks like cell phones. At the bottom of this, there's some keys. It's an old lighter. Some change as well on the bottom there. 
All right, well, I'll set that aside to sort through more carefully. Camera bag. Canon camera bag. It's full of cords and stuff. I don't see any sort of camera in there. Set that aside. What do we have here? Another camera bag. Finding a lot of these camera bags, but no camera yet. Yeah, more cords and stuff. A little DVD player. Bunch of Zippo lighters. It's a good little find. Looks like we got three or four Zippos there. There's some value right there. Let's see, this looks like it's got paperwork in it, which is kind of strange. I'll sort through there, make sure there's nothing valuable hidden down in there. Got a big lock here, some odds and ends, some pens. Looks like that's about it. Got a camera case. It's empty. Another camera case that's got cords and stuff in it. There's some more bows, sound equipment. Finding a lot of this stuff, which is good. It's got some value. Got some sort of locking uh, box here of some sort. I don't think it has anything in it. No key either. Here we've got a bunch of cords. Bunch of uh, like adapters of different types. What's this? I see a name on there. Hmm. Batteries in here. Bunch of flashlights. More streamlight flashlights. Other odds and ends down in there. Set that aside to go through more carefully. Anything else of interest in here? Box that's empty. All right. Well, I will sort through all these little odds and ends. Let's see. If I find anything exciting, I will show you. Let's see what's in this box. It's marked fragile, glass lamps, picture frames, etc. So, let's see what we got. I'm gonna move you for a second. There we go. What's here? Sort of hamper or something. Crucifix. A little bit concerned about there being pictures, personal pictures in here, so try to be careful and not show anything like that. Put some lights in there. A lot of blankets. Okay, this is going to be the top of a stained glass lamp. I'm almost positive. I'll unwrap this other stuff first and then I'll do all the stuff that's taped up in the bubble wrap. Some coasters, nice coaster set. More 
blankets. Those are her decor. That's busted up. Some sort of certificate. What's this? Some more decor. We sold stuff like that before. Like that exact same thing. Alright, I'm going to unwrap some of the stuff that's in the bubble wrap and see what it is. Here's a look at some of the things that were wrapped up in there. This big penguin is wrapped up in there. And then here is that stained glass lamp shade that it was exactly what I thought it was wrapped up in there. Uh, it's not any name brand, but they're nice and they always sell well. Very pretty. Here's a box that might be kind of interesting. It's marked Fireworks. So let's see what we've got in here as far as fireworks go. Hopefully it's not just paper. No, nope, there's definitely fireworks in there. Let's see, that's definitely the best thing. We've got the uh, mortar with the shells. I only see four shells in there. Looks like it might be missing four, but still, it's not a bad little find. Got some sparklers here, it looks like. And just a variety pack. You know, nothing too incredible there, but it'll be fun to set off once we get over to the 4th of July. Cool little find. This box is marked Art Stuff. Art supplies usually sell pretty well, so hopefully that's what we got in here. Looks like it. All right, what do we have? Spider-Man lunchbox. Some crayons. Some markers. Got a leapfrog tablet. Let's see what's underneath here. Got a dunk tank that you can build. Take some coloring books. Got a uh, little building project craft thing. Got a bracelet maker. Let's see what's in here. Oh, I'm making a mess. Just odds and ends. Supplies for doing crafts. Okay, not bad. Here's another pretty decent looking box. DVDs, remote controls, PS4 headphones. So we will see what we've got inside. A lot of boxes in this locker. And, uh, you know, a lot of pretty decent boxes, really. Can't complain. What we found so far. An old uh, docking station, PSP game. What is this? Grand Theft Auto. Which one is that? Vice City Stories. Here's a Nintendo GameCube, Final Fantasy. It's in terrible shape. A whole bunch of CDs, loose CDs. Loose DVDs. Yeah, look at these. They're all ruined. It should go without saying, but you should never store your DVDs loose. An empty box. Xfinity remote. Harmony remote. Not familiar. All right. I'm gonna set all these remotes aside for now. Hell, I'm sure I don't have anything for them. Here's a PlayStation. I'm guessing these are the PS4 headphones. Nice.
Oops. It's a phone case for a Galaxy, but it's not in there. All right, whole bunch of here's another remote. Whole bunch of DVDs in here though. Whole bunch of Blu-rays. Let's look at the Blu-rays real quick and see if they're in here. Try a couple of these. John Wick, that's in there. This one, Superman, is in there. We'll do two more. SWAT is in there, and here's Captain America. He's in there. All right. So I'm guessing they're all going to be in there. I'll go through and check them, and then we'll go on. Here's that Matco box that's locked. Um, I think it might be a key box. I think that might be its original purpose. I have no idea what's in there. There's definitely stuff in there. We never found the key. We hoped we would, but we never did. So now it's time to drill this lock out and see what's in there. Again, to uh, just use a use a hand drill here and just drill that lock out of there. Uh, normally, I would just smack a locked box like this a few times to break it open, but I think we can sell the box uh, and you can replace those keys if you drill them out. So that's what I'm going to do, and then uh, see what's in there. There we go. All right. It is opened up now. We are going to see what is inside. Slightly adjust the camera here. There we go. Let's see what's in there. Yes, keys, just as I suspected there might be. Keys, keys, keys. Well, Kind of disappointing, actually. Look at this. They're marked stainless steel toolbox. Padlock keys. A whole bunch of keys here. Well, maybe some of these keys fit some of the other things we found. That's going to do it for this video. As always, thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed, please like and subscribe.